Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming. Welcome back to the Tour de France 2021 playthrough with Ineos Grenadiers. Today it is time for stage number 5 and 6 and this will be the final daily upload of this series. Um, after today we'll be doing 3 videos a week on a Tuesday, Thursday and a Saturday. But today we'll cover another 2 stages. We've got the time trial coming up in the first stage and then another relatively flat stage with stage number 6. But uh, in the previous stage we had another good one. We uh, won the stage with Mikhail Kvatkovsky. All good stuff there. Um, and in stage three, it wasn't our best day in terms of the finish. You can see Yates finished sixth, but we took some good points in the points classification across the two stages. And the general classification um, after four stages looks a little bit like this. We've had Bernal, Yates and Kavakovsky all win stages. And I think that those three guys are probably going to be our main um, guys for the general classification. Obviously, Bernal on number one. Probably looking at Kovatkovsky as our number two and Yates on number three. It seems Garant Thomas is a little bit slower this year. The best climbing classification because of the nature of the stages hasn't really got off yet. And the points classification, we've got both Kovatkovsky and Yates um, in there. So, all looking good for us so far. We've got the tar trial... The trial time? The time trial to come first today. And to be, br to be brutally honest... Um... I still haven't got much idea of what I'm doing with the time trials because uh, I've done the time, I've done, the, I've done the training, um, and to be brutally honest, I don't really still get what I'm doing. Um, it, it was the same last year. Unfortunately, there are two of them rather than just a singular one this year. So yeah, we're gonna do the stage, but do it with one of our poorer riders just so we don't lose any time with someone who you know is, is a good mountain rider, if you like, uh, you know, and somebody who's in for the general classification but we have got a time trial later on so you know we've got I guess you guys can give me a few tips with this one. Ganner is one of the favourites so we're definitely not going to be using him today to, to muck it up for him but probably somebody like Castro Viejo or Dennis we're going to go with here somebody who isn't going to target the general classification um, and yeah it'll be a good bit of training I guess this for the second time trial and hopefully some of you guys can give me a little bit of help for the second one. But this is a totally flat um, time trial, so I don't think we're going to blow up at any stage, but it could be wrong. But let's see who we're going to go with for this one. So we're probably going to go with Dennis or Castro Viejo. They're all both pretty good at the time trials, to be honest. Um, maybe not Gagenhart. Good to see Yates is back in good condition. Um, we'll go with... Dennis, actually, he is one of our best time trialers, but I'm not too concerned because he's not really in it for the general classification. All of our guys in the top 32, though, so that's good news at the moment. Uh, we've got a very, very solid team at the moment of riders doing well. And here we go for the time trial. So, we set off. Make sure we get ourselves in that TT position. And it's very difficult, well, us men can't multitask anyway, but it is difficult to focus on the suggested effort and um, where you're actually going. It's uphill for a kilometre apparently here, so this is important, this stage of the, the time trial. So we just keep into that TT position and the recommended effort. We're almost at the top now. We'll be pushing a little bit too hard. Bloody hell, make your mind up. Okay, let's just take things back down to normal now. It's so difficult to control the braking and the TT position. It really is. Ah! It's a bloody mare. I'm doing well enough to stay where I'm going. Okay, manage effort. But by the time we've got down to that pace, we're going to have to break. Oh my god, this is a nightmare to try and manage. It's really tough. So I don't know how far off we will be. Only done five kilometres so far. But I guess I'll see you guys at the first um, intermediate objective to see how bad we are. So we're going to be quite a way off here. We couldn't go at the recommended pace because we've not got enough red gel. Left. Well, not red gel as such, but... Well, you know, we're 49th. It's not terrible. Not terrible at all. Shout out. 
But I think we have to click X to get into the time trial position. It's not automatically set up for us. But it's not exactly the most intuitive, this mode, I must confess. So at the second time check, we're actually not too bad. We're 25th, I think I'll type that. I just don't be I can't believe uh, what the suggested effort's suggesting. <laughs> you know, we're going to be nowhere near that. We're just going to burn um, everything off it. And we might blow up before the end of this. But let's see. Well, we're in the final kilometre here. I don't think it's going to go well for us particularly, but oh well. Half a kilometre to go. It's not going to be a disaster. We're going to be about 30 seconds off. Let's just push the line. You know what? I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take being 30 seconds off there. Uh, it, it wasn't ideal whatsoever, but you know what? It was a little bit different. I can't really say it was fun. But uh, it looked like Ganna was up there in the top 5 or 10, so that's good news. It's just one of those that's in there, really, just as a banana skin as such to, to throw some people off. But I don't think it should be much of a problem. Um, Van Ayert does take the yellow jersey, so that's an interesting one. But let's see how many seconds it's by. If it's by a lot, then we've got a problem. But realistically, I don't think any of the Mountaineers and guys who are generally going for that yellow classification are going to have much um, of an issue. See, Kovatkoski finished in ninth. Banal 67th. Wow. I mean, we finished 15th with Dennis, but that's a nightmare. That is a nightmare for Banal. I am looking for um, Rogelik. And Rogelik finished second. A Philippe seventh. Banal had a terrible time of it. That is going to be a big, big loss. Yep, Banal drops to 10th. Mm, a lot of the favourites. Rogelik, Pogacher, a Philippe. Have all gone above. Hmm, interesting. Interesting indeed. But all of our guys still in the top 25. Still a lot of time to gain, so I don't think there's too much concern there, to be honest. Um, and we can do that in some of the mountain stages. We know that he's strong in some of those mountain stages. Kovatkovsky still second. Really good to see Kovatkovsky got on well there. And uh, we now move on to stage number six. So I think it's another flat stage, if I'm wrong. Well, you know, might have to... Apologise if I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. I think this is going to be a flat stage. Let's just check. Yeah. I mean, two sprints, not even a mountain climb. So, a lot of these guys, it's going to be a day, really, in the peloton. But I don't really think it's worth putting anybody in the breakaway, to be honest, today. I've looked at a lot of the riders, Ghana, Castro Viejo. It's just not worth it. It really isn't worth it. There's a couple of sprints to go for. That's why we are on board with um, Adam Yates for this stage. But it's going to be a very short one today, I would have thought. Two sprints, not even one climb, so there's not even that to it. So I think it's going to be a day of chilling in the peloton, to be honest. Ensure a minimum te tempo. Um, we'll get Castro Viejo to protect Bernal. And I think we'll get Ganna to protect Yates. And I think we'll get Garant Thomas to protect um, Kovatkovsky. Because it seems that Garant Thomas is off, is off the pace a little bit. And why not? We'll get him to protect those two. Uh, those three even. Make sure that our main three hopes are in the best condition. And we might... We'll see how we go. But we might do stage number seven as well today. Because this is going to be uh, a very uneventful episode really, this one. So five kilometres to go before the first intermediate sprint of the day. And we are on board with the eights. You know, we've... Max, we ought to, to just, take, just to go for it and take a feed at the end of this. Because it is a very... Well, it's not a very taxing stage at all. But then equally, we have got Yates going for the... Uh, you know, the general classification as well as a bit of a backup. So, you know, there is that to consider. We've got Kovatkovsky following any sort of attacks... Um, so hopefully he'll be in there as well. It's all about staying in this league group with Yates. Probably taking the wheel of somebody that's pretty good. Is Van der Powell up here anywhere? Van Aert, I think he's a good one to take the wheel of. We've got Ganner up here protecting um, Yates. So for the moment, I think we'll just, you know, lay off that one a little bit. We don't want to push too much too early here. But I think we've got plenty of energy to go for it. We'll tell Kovatkovsky to attack just to make sure he's in there. And less than a kilometre to go. And I think it is go time for this intermediate sprint. We can put all the pace in here because we've got the energy to do so. Get round the corner on the inside. Green jersey man is a long way off, but we're not going to be able to get too much here. It's 10th over the line. But crucially, um, Van, Van der Poel was quite a way back. Kovatkovsky... Um, 
I think was in that group. Yeah, Kvatkovsky got two points, so good. Um, Van der Poel only took three. Six points for Yates. It's a small advantage, but, you know, all the same. It's good stuff. And, and you know, I'm really happy with that. Really am happy with that. We'll just uh, protect our leaders. And, yeah, we'll go from there. We've got a final sprint at the end. We have got um, a wind phase, but I don't think it's going to be too special. Coming up to the end of stage number six, then. And the peloton, obviously, all back together now. Got Bernal riding, which is interesting up here. Not too fussed about that. That will help. And we'll just tuck in once again. Well, it doesn't really matter who we tuck in behind, to be honest. As long as we've got a little bit of um, a little bit of help. And we want to get on that right-hand side, really, if we can push ourselves in <laughs> behind Van Aert. Who did take this uh, the first mass sprint of the day. But obviously 50 points available. Van Aert slows down a little bit there. So we're going to... Mm, we've been compromised a little bit. And again, this um, little glitch with the f frame rate drop at the end of the stage is very strange. Can't really make head and a tail of it. Does anybody need their feed at this point? Probably not. We'll just worry about, uh, worry about Yates. Yep, copy. Perfect for that sprint. We'll just try and up the tempo. Tell Kvatkovsky to follow attacks. Just so he's in there for the final sprint. But, uh maybe no. No, just just tail off. Because, uh, you know, he's going to be quite crucial in the stage tomorrow, I would say. So, a bit of power now. Take the last bit of our feed. Two, tack, two Ks to go. Being pushed out to the outside. That's not going to help. But 1.3 to go. I think it's time for us to go for this. We've gone a little bit early, but if we can get that pace, that's what's all important. Our red energy's coming down a little bit early. But you know what? Let's just go for this. We are going to be overtook. And we're going to be beaten today. But you know what? It's a good end. We were in the top six or seven there. You're not going to win them all. You know, Yates is a good sprinter, but he's not the best in the field, I don't think. Our main aim really is the general classification. But just to keep things interesting more than anything, really, we are going to go for these sprints. See how we get on. But as I say, I don't think it's too bad for us, though. We've certainly finished in the frame. Got some points on the board. And to pardon the extreme pun here, it is a marathon and not a sprint, really. Um, Benal is obviously going to retain that polka dot jersey for us here. And Pogacera has got the Young Riders classification. But a bit of a concern that Benal has slipped a little bit in the general classification. As a result of the time trial. But I don't think it's anything to be too worried about. But Yates finished 7th, so a good finish for him there. Everybody else quite a way back, but no damage really in the end. So if we look at the uh, classification at the end of the day, nothing changes from the time trial. Kvatkovsky still 2nd. Um, for the points classification, you can see Kvatkovsky has dropped back a little bit. Adam Yates has kept respectable. Van der Poel has started to exert quite a lead, but I remember in one of the uh, events, it might have been the Tour de France actually in our first... Um, go at this last year in last year's iteration of the game that first place started to drop back a little bit later in the tour so if Yates and Kvatkovsky are obviously up there in the mountains then that's going to give them a big chance but we'll see how good Van der Poel, Van Ertz and uh, the likes of those guys are as well. Um, do we do stage number seven today? I'm just thinking about timing possibly not because you know it's going to turn into a, a moderately long video sort of 15 minutes into one that's going to be quite long you know there are quite a few climbs today the first big stage, really. Um, two third-class climbs and a second-class climb, but, you know, it's tougher than it seems. Two sprints in there as well. By far the toughest challenge that anybody would have faced yet. Um, so that's going to be interesting going into the Tuesday's episode. Then on Thursday, we'll have the big climb um, in stage number eight. And then stage number nine on Saturday. And probably we'll pop a Sunday video in there as well with... Uh, Stage number 10 and 11 combined. But you can see that, you know, there are quite a few big stages to come. And we've got quite a few guys in there. So that that's good stuff. Apparently Yates, they think, can go for this. Um, but I think we're probably going to be looking for Banal to take it more so. But it all depends how the stage goes. You can't really predict anything until the end, really. But we'll try and keep um, Kvatkovsky, Yates and Banal all up there. But a bit of a concerning day for Banal slipping back a little bit. But equally good stuff that we've got four riders in the top 10. But Rogelik, Pogacar... Uh, Philippe all starting 
to exert some sort of uh, pressure, all being in the top 10 there. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. But if you enjoyed that, folks, make sure to uh, leave a like down below. Comment your thoughts as well and subscribe for regular Tour de France content over the next few weeks. As I said, there's going to be three videos a week on a Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, all at 1pm in that early slot. And uh, like I say, we might put a fourth video in there if we can. But uh, thank you for your company today. I've been TIJ Gammon. Until the next time, I'll see you all later. Goodbye for now.